This is one of the most important hard surface modeling concepts in Blender. I got a question from a Patreon supporter. He wanted to explain this to him a little bit better. Okay, so let me show you what I'm going to talk to you about here. If you watch any Aryan tutorial on YouTube, anything that I ever create, there's going to be a point in that video where I'm going to add bevels, which have a particular shape. Okay, so for example, you're going to see me modeling something like let's say this thing right here on this F1 car. And then I'm going to go up here to object shade smooth to make this nice and cute. And then I'll take this edge at the end right here with control B. I'm going to bevel that edge. And by default in this menu right here, you're going to find a shape value of 0.5. But I change this shape value from 0.5 to 1. Okay. And if you look at the shape of this bevel right here, you can see the difference between 0.5 and 1.000. So the question is, Aryan, why on earth do you use bevels which have a shape value of one, which makes the bevel sharp instead of nice and round? Why do you do this? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video, because there's a very good reason for this. And this is very important. And you should all be doing the same thing. Okay. Now, for me to be able to explain this to you, I have to make sure that you understand how smooth shading works in Blender. What does smooth shading do? Okay, I got some simple examples for you back here, where I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you activate smooth shading. Okay, so you have an object with a sharp edge right here. When I say sharp edge, I'm talking about an edge which has an angle. So this is not a sharp edge because there's no angle. It's the same, it's just a flat surface. But this is an edge which has an angle between the two faces which it connects. Okay, so you select this surface, you go up here to object shade smooth. And now this sharp edge or this edge which has an angle suddenly becomes smooth, it looks like there's some smooth shading on it. Now I'm going to change my shading settings a little bit better. I'm going to give you a matte cap, which is a little bit shiny. So you can see what's going on over here a little bit better. But as you can see on this edge, it looks like there's a bevel, but there isn't. Okay, it looks like this edge is round because of how the light is reflecting off of that edge. But obviously, when you look at the sides, it's not actually a round edge. All right. So what's happening here is the smooth shading is simulating a bevel on the sharp edge. Okay. So if we take this edge right here, and we bevel that with control B, and we're going to change the shape value here to 0.5. So it's nice and round. It looks like the shading is the same here, except of course, when you look at the sides, this edge is actually rounded. But this means that there's a lot more polygons on it. Okay, so this one is very high poly. This one is very low poly, but the shading is the same. So this is why we want to use smooth shading. Now it's very important that you understand we have to note that when you add smooth shading to an object, and when an edge has smooth shading acting on it, there's an invisible bevel or well, it looks like there's a bevel, which is created on this edge right here. And it is contained within the nearby edges within the nearby edges, which don't have an angle. Okay. So in this case, if we take these edges over here, and we slide them with double G, you can see that the shape of this bevel here changes, we can extend, or we can shorten the length or the width of this bevel right here. Okay. So if we bring these closer together with double G, now it just looks like there's a smaller bevel, which as you can see, looks quite realistic. So this is what you want to do. This is what the, the effect that I'm trying to accomplish. But the question is, why can't we use a shape value of 0.5? Okay, and let me explain this to you by drawing it to you. All right. So you understand that when you bevel something, okay, there's a bevel which is contained by the nearby edges, but it's only applied to edges which have angles, flat edges don't get no smooth shading. Here's a little drawing for you. Okay, here is a bevel which has a shape value of one. Okay, so you have the edge right here, when you bevel it, you create a new edge here and a new edge here. And then when you add smooth shading, it looks like there's a bevel underneath this corner, which looks like this. So that's how the shading behaves. There isn't actually a change in the shape of the surface, right? And if you take one of these vertices, as we just did over here a second ago by sliding this edge backwards, this imaginary bevel that you have beneath the surface, it extends in that direction. So now it's connecting this vertex and this vertex. So that changes the shape. And if we take this vertex even further out, then this curve is going to go all the way up to here. And this is not going to look like a flat surface, it's going to look like a curved surface. And I can demonstrate this to you by getting rid of all of these edges up here, all right, dissolve edges. So now this smooth shading is going to go from this edge all the way to over here, you can clearly see that by looking at the surface, it doesn't look like a flat surface, it looks like it's curved. And then if we add in an edge over here, then we're going to contain that and shorten this bevel. All right. So when you have a bevel, which has a shape value of 0.5. And that will give you a result that looks sort of like this. Okay, you take this edge, we can use Alt S So just move that inwards a little bit. Sure, if you look at it from the side, it looks like a more realistic bevel. But the problem then is that now you have an, a sharp edge over here. And here's what happens. Let me show you another drawing. 
Here is the side profile of a bevel which has a shape value of approximately 0.5. So now this is a sharp edge. So this is an edge with an angle, which means this has smooth shading on it, which means there is an invisible or an imaginary surface underneath this one which is the red line over here, which means the curve goes all the way to back here. So this is no longer a flat surface. And this is going to completely change the way that your object looks. So you have to be very careful with this stuff. If you use a cube, for example, give me, give me a default cube over here in the middle. If you use a cube and you go object shade smooth, as you can see, it looks like shit because there's no edges to contain this smooth shading. It's just shading it like a sphere essentially, but it has the shape of a cube, which doesn't make any sense. So it looks absolutely ridiculous. And if we bevel this with a bevel that has a shape value of 0.5, even if it has multiple edges, but let's just use two, two segments just for the sake of this example, you can see now that this light doesn't really behave in a way that you would want it to behave. And to make this even more clear, I'm going to make another cube next to it, which is going to have a bevel with a shape value of, point, uh, of 1, and add smooth shading, object shade smooth which doesn't want to uh, do anything in this case, keep sharp edges, we don't want to keep sharp edges. As you can see now, the shading or the reflection over here at the top looks completely different. So this one looks like a flat surface, but this one doesn't look like a flat surface. You understand what I'm talking about? So you have to be aware that when you add a bevel with a shape value of 0.5, it's going to create an, an imaginary bevel between on this edge between this edge and this one over here. So this is why I use a shape value of one on my bevels. Anytime you have a sharp edge, you want to add smooth shading so it looks realistic, so it looks like there's a bevel, but you want to add supporting geometry so that that smooth shading is contained. Now, here's another thing that you have to consider. If you look at this bevel very closely, it's very obvious that it's still a sharp edge. It looks fine from a distance, but if you look at it closely, it doesn't look like a bevel from the side. If you want to do this, you have to use the same shading over here, the same bevel over here to add extra edges to the corners so that they contain the shading. But then you can take these sharp edges and with control B, you can bevel them and add a couple of edges with a shape value of 0.5. And ideally you want these segments to all have the same length. So we're going to slightly increase this width over here. So that way from the side, it looks like there's a bevel here, but the shading on this edge or the bevel on this edge, which is created by the smooth shading, is going to be contained within this edge and this edge, instead of going all the way back here as it would if we did not have this edge or this supporting loop right here. So this is why I use a shape value of 1 instead of 0 0.5. This is very important. It's, it adds a lot of realism and it contains your smooth shading. I hope this answers your questions. Let me know what you want to see next. If you have any questions, don't ask me in the comments because I don't read the comments anymore because there's a lot of people talking shit, but you can ask me on Instagram. If you want to learn more about Blender, if you want to learn more tips like this and check out my Blender ebook, I'll see you in the next one.